there was a real palpable sense of fear the moment we got off the plane. The Ebola outbreak of 2014 was the largest Ebola outbreak in history. People had not seen a hemorrhagic fever outbreak of that magnitude. There was transmission happening in healthcare facilities, and because of that, people had lost faith in their health system. They were afraid to go to the doctor. Schools were closing, borders were closing, tens of thousands of cases and thousands of people died. This was a humanitarian crisis in every conceivable way. For CDC, the top priorities were controlling the outbreak in West Africa. And really to restore public confidence in the health system and restore essential public health services. Public health emergencies require a holistic approach. You need to know the who, the what, the when, the why, the where of an event, and that helps you decide how to deal with it. During a response, CDC subject matter experts come together and form specialized teams. We had folks that were working on data, folks that were working on laboratory. People with specialties in infection control, medical care, personal protective equipment. Policy, communications. CDC staff were located in every corner of the country. And you develop relationships. You develop relationships with the people you work with, the librarians in the government and in the hospitals. And many of them had people close to them who were infected or died from Ebola. And it becomes much more personal to you. During a public health response, and in particular Ebola, CDC leverages the Emergency Operations Center. It's our hub. It's our command and control organization. Its mission is to support all the, the agency in carrying out these matters. They have expertise in incident command planning, and situational awareness, and that particular set of capabilities really helps support the overall response. At the end of the day, it's that integrated approach to dealing with public health, and that's what we bring to bear during an emergency. Nowhere in the world, no agency in the world has that breadth of expertise. CDC won't stop. CDC will continue to put resources into an event to make sure that we leave the country or the municipality or the state in a better position than when the event started.